Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to get date and time from online servers in your Android app. So we all know how we can get very easily uh, the date and time from our system, the OS. But what if you need to take or get the date and time from some online servers? So how to get it? So let's see. Get date and time online server. You can name this app anything. Of course, it will be a part of your some major app. So just to demonstrate, I'm just creating a dummy app here. We'll wait for the Android Studio environment to load. So once the environment loads up, I think first and foremost, what we'll do is in the manifest file, we'll declare or we'll ask the user permission for accessing internet. So this is although all the uh, apps by default needs access to internet, but at least in manifest file, you have to mention that. Uh, you don't have to ask the permission from the user explicitly, but an, a mention in manifest uh, file may be required. Also, uh, in terms of dependency, we will uh, rely on a third party uh, library from Apache. So for that, what we will do is we will implement a dependency, which is commons net caller, commons net caller, and then a version number. Probably I will go for 3.6. I am not sure if this is the latest version, but let's see. We'll sync now and wait for the uh, dependency to get loaded in my environment. Yeah, once the Gradle sync is complete, what we'll do is we'll go to our uh, layout first, of course. And by default, the text view is given. I think we'll use this text view to display our output. But before that, I'll add probably two buttons. One is to fetch from some server. These are the trigger points, fetch. Uh, uh, data or date from server and the second could be to display so this I'll keep closer below or probably I'll put it somewhere here display date and time yeah so this is just a trigger points I'm just creating here I'll bring it to the center of course you can do it programmatically as well and yeah I'll bring it somewhere here I think there are a few errors I'm getting, which is for constraints. I'll just give constraints quickly. And once my layout is done, I'll switch to the Java code. And in the Java code, first and foremost, I'll quickly create two methods, which is public void um, button fetch. Because I have to go back to the layout and associate these buttons with the right, uh, these methods with the right button click. So white button display okay now i go back to the layout and over here with this button on click attribute should be there somewhere and here this is for fetch first one and then the second one could be for display yeah name of the methods and all those things doesn't matter but make sure you know which with which method what association association has been done now here I'll create two class variable. One is for text view, which is the widget in our layout, and the other could be uh, something called time TCP client. So this is a uh, time TCP client. So if you see, this is a part of the Apache uh, library which we have included in our Gradle file. So just press Alt Enter, and it will include the necessary imports. This import it will include. Okay. So once we have it now in this uh, on create method, of course, what we can do is we can create this text view uh, and associate it with the r dot id um, sorry id dot text view. Uh, that's all I guess. But uh, what I'll also do is I'll include this uh, policy thread policy. So strict mode dot uh, thread policy. So why I'm creating this thread policy is because by default the policy uh, in that uh, it will not allow me to fetch anything online like or do any action on the internet in the main thread. But here I don't want to uh, create multiple threads. I just want to do a simple programming. So quickly I'm creating this uh, my own policy here strict mode on thread policy builder and then permit all dot build. And then I'll use this thread policy in this particular 
uh, stick mode set head policy and then whatever we have created above i'll use that one yeah so this since i have permitted all so it will allow me to use the uh, or do any action of the uh, re related to internet in my main thread as well otherwise the workaround is if you of course in your main uh, app development you should not include this and you should create a separate thread to do anything any action which you want to do on over the internet so what we want to do is we want to use this to connect to a time server so there are lots of time servers i think even google provides that but the one which i'll be using is provided by uh okay i have opened this website i think uh nic in HT internet servers so they provide lots of uh, servers you can see uh, the name and the respective ip address and the location so you can use any of this but most likely i'll go with this global address because i'm not in uh, any of these locations so i'll go with this global uh, multiple locations and i'll use this particular uh, uh, server for my particular app so over here i'll connect to that particular server which i have copy pasted uh, in my clipboard and I think there's some error. Let me see. I think it might be for exception. Yeah. So just add try catch add as uh, whatever it says. And I think uh, we have also created this here, but we haven't. Uh, so what we should have done, we should have created this object as new time TCP client. Yeah. Perfect. So we haven't created this object. That's why it was grayed out. This also grayed out because we are not using it, but we'll soon use it. So what we can do is once our this fetch is done we can try to print the date in our text view so set text and here what we can do is we can just print whatever we get the output here in the time tcp client dot there is a method called get and don't forget to change it to do string here again there is some error i think again it will be an exception yeah of course just add it whatever it says i think that's all it's so simple you have to just include a correct dependency and then use this time tcp client object to fetch and then you can do whatever i mean here I, i'm displaying of course in your real app you may want to do certain other operations on that whatever it is fetching from the server but yeah one of the uh, normal use cases if you want to compare your system time or if you have doubt with your system time time of your os uh, then you can fetch it directly from the server because no one can manipulate the server time uh, of course with terms and conditions but yeah let's see how it comes up so yeah i will in the meantime i'm just doing the cleanup of the code i think it, it's good everything yeah i'll wait for the app to come up perfect my app has come up so i click the fetch button and most likely when i click this particular line line number 34 would have got uh, executed and that's the reason why uh, by default the uh, os android request the users or the developers to do any actions of our internet in a separate thread because you never know how much time will it take to connect to the right server and fetch the data so it's always advisable but i have surpassed or you can say superseded the policy by writing my own policy and doing it now let's see yeah so we got our date and time here uh good so what we can also do is we can just play with this string part here so say for example if you don't want the complete string you just uh, i mean if you notice it gave a long uh, the complete format so what we can do is we can also pull out certain elements say for example you want to just pull out date or just pull out time so you can just do a sub string in that so say for example i think 0 to 28 index if i see what it will give me is just date and time and uh, not the uh, time zone and other information which may not be relevant at times so this part of the uh, substring may be more relevant so i've done this read on the code and let's see so if you see no uh yeah it just gives me the date and time which is much more cleaner also of course you can manipulate this further if you want just the month or date or whatever you can manipulate this further to get that particular date okay so that's all i hope this uh, this is pretty easy and simple to fetch uh, you have to just know the correct uh, server from where you are loading uh, uh, and then you have to just use the connect and then get that and that's all so i have, i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you